Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to find the missing coordinates of a vertex of an isosceles triangle. Okay, so let's have a look at our first example. So we've got to work out what this coordinate is here. So we've got an isosceles triangle, so that means these two sides are the same and we have a line of symmetry down the centre of the isosceles triangle. So the first thing you need to do on these types of problems is mark the numbers along the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay, so let's start with this point here. So the first number of our coordinate will go on the x-axis and the second number, 3, will go on the y-axis. So we do the same for this coordinate here. So the first number, 7, will go on the x-axis and the second number, 12, will go on the y-axis. So we now need to just find out what this coordinate is here. So we don't have this number along the x-axis, but we do have the y-axis number, which is 3, so we can fill the 3 in there. So we're just after that first x-coordinate. So to do it, we can look at the numbers along the x-axis. So if you look at the difference between 4 and 7, it's 3, isn't it? 7 take away 4 is 3. So if we add 3 onto the 7, that will give us this coordinate here. So 7 add 3 is 10. So the x coordinate is 10. So let's have a look at the second example then. So again, we've got another isosceles triangle and we need to work out the coordinate of the top vertex. So again, if we use the coordinates we have to mark the numbers on the x and y axis. So let's start with this bottom coordinate here. So the first digit will go on the x axis, which is 2. And the second digit will go on the y axis, which is 6. Do the same with this other vertex. So if we put the 15 on the x-axis and the 11 on the y-axis. And then we can just figure out what this one is here now. So we have the number at the bottom which is 2, but we don't have this coordinate here. So we've got the x-coordinate which is 2, so we can fill that one in. So again we need to try and spot a pattern for the numbers on the y-axis. So 11 take away 6, that's 5. So there's a difference of 5 between these two numbers. So if we add 5 on to the 11, that will give us the y-coordinate. So 11 add 5 is 16. So our y-coordinate is 16. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.